Hi guys. Okay, I decided with my last video, um, it was so fast that it um, sounds a lot like I was smoking something besides just the incense. So I wanted to do to separate the videos and actually do a separate video for each company, which is what I'm going to do now. Um, the first company I'm going to do, this is the first incense order that I purchased. Let me try to get this where it's holding still and it's okay. Um, this was the first incense order that I, uh, not the first one I purchased, but the first one I received. And it was from Sense of Earth. Um, and I have since um, bottled a bunch of this stuff, so some of it's in packages, some of it's in bottles. Bear with me, I'll get it all out. Okay, so their thing, um, I ordered on Sunday, they shipped out Monday, I had it by Wednesday, and then the second order I placed, I ordered Wednesday, shipped out Thursday, had by today. So their stuff goes out, it goes priority mail, which is wonderful. I think there's, you know, if you pay 7 or $8 for shipping, you darn sure should get it by a priority mail. Um, but they ship out fast. I love fast ship out times. Nothing makes me crazier than, you know, waiting a week or whatever on your shipping. And I'll talk about that a little bit in the next video. But anyway, so these are the things that I ordered. Bless you. My kids are here. Um, the first thing that I ordered from them last Sunday. This stuff comes in these little, they obviously have one of those bag sealers. It's a crunchier plastic, a harder plastic than something like, you know, the little bags that seal at the top look like baggies. Um, this is a harder stuff. They obviously seal it there, bless you. Um, and I got, this is benzoin or benzoin, I don't know how you say benzoin, I would say, from Siam. Um, I'm not, I did burn a little bit of this and it was pretty rough by itself. Um, but it's Styrax benzoides, wild harvested, from Thailand. So I got that. Bless you. Thank you. I got some gum elemi. This is a soft resin. It's real sticky. You can see that that bag is open, but it's sort of stuck in there. Um, this stuff smells fantastic. It's a little bit peppery, but it smells fantastic even in the bag. It smells even better burning. Um, some frankincense from Somalia. This is Boswellia Carteri. Frankincense. Um, I ordered their frankincense sampler, so all of the frankincense that I ordered from Sense of Earth the first time came as part of the sampler, as did the myrrh. Some really fantastic myrrh resin, and I don't know if, yeah, you can see that. See how mm, not clear the pieces are, but they're not real woody looking. This stuff is fantastic. Myrrh gum resin, wildcrafted Somalia, first choice grade. This stuff is fantastic. It's a really nice myrrh. Some myrrh is very bitter. I've had a couple of myrrhs that were bitter and I didn't care for them. This stuff is fantastic. Um, this is called sweet myrrh, but it's not a myrrh, I think. It's called opoponax. Op Poponax. I don't know how you say it. Forgive me. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks more like not so much little pieces of resin as... I wish you could see it. Oh, I dropped it all over the place. Bloody hell. Uh, you're just not going to be able to see that. Um, sort of pieces of wood. More woody than the other stuff. This does not have a real myrrh smell. It's very nice. It's um, sweeter. It is... I mean, it still has that heavier musky smell but it's fantastic stuff <sighs> blow the stuff I got on my computer off okay some red cedar chips these I ground in my coffee grinder this morning that I obviously no longer use for coffee this is just red cedar ground that up filled it up I think all of these things I'm pretty sure I ordered just one ounce of um matey frankincense this is boswellia freriana wild harvested also from somalia you can see that there's quite a bit of dust with that one, and that's why the bottle is more cloudy. Um, some Palo Santo wood powder. It smells like licorice. I hate it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, because I'm never going to use this in incense, I don't think. I'm really disappointed, but, you know, you have to try stuff, right? Some hosiery frankincense, and this stuff is amazing, amazing. It's so lemony and light and just beautiful, beautiful. Um, and this is the regular Boswellia Sacra. Um, frankincense from Ethiopia, Boswellia papifera, papifera, as in papyrus, I'm assuming. Ethiopian frankincense. Again, nice big pieces of resin. Frankincense Aden, little bitty pieces of resin, but very nice stuff. Boswellia carteri, wild harvested as well. And for all the sense of her things that came in the bags like that, all I did was peel the sticker off and stick it to where the label was on the baby food jar. It was actually really brilliant. Um, I ordered a thing of charcoal 
It came with two of these Three Kings. This is not my favorite charcoal. It works okay. We're sliding off the edge here, sorry. Um, it works fine, it's just not my favorite. I prefer Swift Light. This is the one that's open. I ordered another set of it. I have plenty of charcoal coming out my ears. Um, frankincense from India. This is called Boswellia Serrata. Those are the, what the pieces look like there. And I believe that that was it for my first order from Sense of Earth. Like I said, they are fantastic. Customer service was excellent. They shipped fast. Uh, they shipped out of the warehouse fast. It got here fast because it was priority. And then they sent me a little sample. I don't have it right here with me, but it looks exactly like this, except it's a different kind. It was still the Greek monastery incense, but this is the rose. This is what they sent with my second order. The first order had acacia. Um, little bitty samples to try. Have not tried it yet. Um, but that's okay. It was nice of them to send. And that was it for the first order. So I'm going to... Actually, I probably have time to show you the second order. I'm going to go ahead and do it all in one video. I ordered another thing of charcoal. And I ordered some gold copal. I absolutely love copal. It's a very tiny, wonderful, clean fragrance. This came in one big rock. I believe it's also an ounce. Um, some black copal. This has a much mm, woodier smell. I don't know what it smells like when it's burning, but so I got that. And then I also ordered the bowl. They did send the wrong one. It's unfortunate, but it's not a big deal really because the other one had a rust rim and I and a more of a green color. It's not a big deal to me, but you know, it is a mistake, but. For me, this time, it's just not a big deal because it's it was for me, and I really, it's not that big a deal. Um, this has the three legs, so that's going to help disperse some of the heat. I ordered ash with it, and I've already put the ash in it. Um, so what you do, what you can do with the ash, then, is bury the charcoal so you're not getting such a high heat on your charcoal. Those charcoals get so hot that what happens, particularly when you're burning a large piece of resin, is that the resin will burn, it'll release the fragrance, but then the last part of the resin, because the piece of resin is so big, turns a very acrid, nasty, gross look and smell. And so that really interferes with your whole incense experience because the charcoal is just so hot. Um, and what I had before, what I was burning on, is just dirt in an abalone shell. Not my preference, I wanted the ash for exactly that reason, because you can control the heat of the charcoal. You can bury the charcoal, you can do different things with the ash. You can also um, buy mica plates, bury the charcoal, put ash on top, put the mica on top, and burn your resin on top of that. I did not get mica to try because you can drop the resin right on top of the ash, um, and so it's no big deal. I didn't want to have another piece of equipment to mess with cleaning. So those are both orders I got from Sense of Earth. Like I said, fantastic company. The product is fabulous, all really high quality. Their prices are reasonable. Um, shipping is reasonable. I think over $100 is free shipping. So it makes it well worth it to go in with somebody else or if you're, you know, it's your, if it's your first incense buying trip or whatever, you know, wait until you have a whack of stuff to buy and, and go for the free shipping. Um... And I think that's it. That's everything I got. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.